Sunday and I'm going to share with you a little bit what's on my heart. So six days of the week, I show you all kinds of things. There are instructional videos, there are videos on how to save money, there are videos on just being content with little, but you know what? I'm going to continue my heart to hearts. And on Sundays, I think it's fitting on a Sunday to share with you what I'm going through. Now, of course, you would have seen this in a previous video, but I want to show you this tree. And this tree made me think about a lot of things. This is a big tree, isn't it? This tree was planted in 1963 when the mobile home was here. But this tree is somewhat what I've been going through in life. It was strong, but all of a sudden it crashed. We're coming to cut up this tree and take it away. This is a pine tree and they're gonna cut it up and they're gonna clean it up for us. But this tree reminds me a lot about my life and how I let fear take a hold of my life. This tree, I was extremely strong. I was swaying in the wind and we, it would sway back and forth and back and forth. And then all of a sudden it crashed. And that's what happened to me. I let fear and anxiety take over my life again. And it's somewhat like this, this scenario of this tree. If you let fear and anxiety in your life, you will crash. You see, Fear is the opposite of faith. When you have faith, you don't have fear. But fear and anxiety is something that affects many of us. I did a lot of thinking and I thought, you know, this would be a good video to share with all of you because there are quite a few of you that deal with anxiety disorder. Yes, you can inherit it. Yes, it could be part of your makeup as far as your DNA. Yes, it could be the exposure to the environment that you're living in, but sometimes it can be a part of the fear in your life that you allow to take over. It doesn't really matter what my fear was. I let it take over my life. And all of a sudden, I started getting anxiety. Fear and anxiety can run hand in hand. And what really I noticed was with me is the listening to negativity and thinking that you're strong enough that you can handle it. So like this tree, I was really strong. I said, oh, that doesn't bother me. Oh, I'm over that. And then all of a sudden, the fear and anxiety started slowly planting a seed. And it would get bigger and bigger and bigger. And to the point was that it took over my life. I started getting panic attacks again because I was allowing the negativity to affect me. So how do you conquer that? I was going to say it's simple and easy, but it's not simple and easy because it takes a lot of self-control to get over fear and anxiety. But I can tell you what I started doing. And to say that it would never affect you again, that's a lie. Because there are some things that some people have to deal with. And mine is anxiety. And I know that I will have to fight it through my life and panic disorder. But first comes the anxiety, and then if you let the anxiety go too long, that's when you get your panic disorder. So the first thing I did was, I realized my mistakes. And I realized my mistakes that I made on film and on camera. And then I decided, okay, what can I do? I slowly decided this was affecting me, this was affecting me. So I changed my whole way of thinking and what I'm listening to. You know, my husband likes to watch the news and he likes to hear what's going on in the world and me, I get affected by it. But I get affected by any type of atmosphere that is not positive. It slowly can eat away at me. And so, as a content creator, <laughs> I'm in quite a challenging line of business. <laughs> but I realized that, okay, so these are my weaknesses. I need to set up boundaries in my life and I need to stick to them boundaries and not think I'm going to be like this tree and think, okay, well, I'm strong enough. I will never crash. I will never fall. <laughs> this tree, we would have never dreamed it would have fell, 
This is a healthy tree, and I'm going to show you here in a minute. This is a pine tree, and it's healthy. But the ground, the base of it, because of all the flooding and all the wind and nasty weather, at the bottom of it, the ground was so saturated that the roots and all came up. So that tells me the foundation is what's important. Not how pretty it looks, because it's beautiful. Not how green and how luscious it looks, but the foundation. And that is the key to panic and anxiety disorder, is what is your foundation? What are you watching? What are you listening to? And what are you allowing to impact your life? And we were shocked when this tree came down. Like, we could not believe it, because of all the trees, now you know we had a lot of trees taken down. I don't know, 13 maybe? And we never thought of a pine tree. It's so healthy. There's not a thing wrong with it. But the foundation of it, it was way down under the ground and the foundation of it all of a sudden became so loose from the soil, from the wet and the muck and the water that it was destroyed. We can't take this pine tree and use a crane and prop it back up with toothpick sticks and it's done because of the foundation. So many times we try to pick ourselves up and keep that wrong foundation. But we think, okay, well, I can still do that. You know, I can still listen to that. That's not gonna bother me. I'll just prop myself back up and call it a day. But if that foundation is not built on something solid, you're gonna crash every time. Maybe it may take longer for you to crash the second time and the third time, or maybe you'll crash right away, but like this tree, you can look perfect on the outside and you can look like you have it all. But if you are not watching your foundation and you know what triggers you and what causes you distress, the enemy will try to pick away at your foundation. But you see, it's up to you to allow it. People can trigger you. People can pick away at you. Circumstances in your life can pick away at you. But it's up to you to allow it. I allowed it. I thought I was big enough, strong enough. I thought, you know, what can happen to me? I got it all. I could say anything, do anything, not worry about anything my foundation started to shake. And now I built my foundation on a solid rock. A solid rock. There are so many scriptures, so many songs about putting yourself on a solid rock. I read my Bible. I, I got to the point where I felt like I was so busy I wasn't even reading my Bible like I should have. But I read, started reading my Bible and that builds me on that rock. And then all of a sudden when I know the old Tessie wants to come back and wants to read things that aren't good and, and take the insults that aren't right and double think herself and double think her ways. I realized right then and there, nope, I am not going to listen to that because that is not of God because fear is not from the Lord. Faith is of the Lord. And if you are being dictated by fear, you need to condemn that. You need to say, go away from me, fear, and never come back. Because you need to hold that so it doesn't take captive of your life. You know, we all are fearful of different things. I know what my fears are. And I realize that I am a child of God. You are a child of God. We don't need to hold captive to those thoughts and to allow fear to take hold of our lives because fear is like poison ivy. Have you ever seen poison ivy that's left go for 10 years or longer? It gets into a rope that binds the tree and it will kill a tree. A tree, poison ivy, a little thing of poison ivy, if it's left long enough, can take hold of your root and it can kill a tree. The poison of fear can take hold of you and your foundation will start shaking and you'll fall like this massive tree. I hope that I shared some encouragement to all of you. We are in this together. 
There is no one that is above the situations of their life, whatever that may be. Some people have issues with anger, some people temper, you know, and some people it's like what I have and fear of holding it all within and, and just having turmoil over and over and thinking about stuff and overthinking about stuff. All of us has an issue. All of us has something that is a weakness in our lives that we can work on. And all of us can use some encouragement today. And so this tree will be gone. It will be cleaned up by this afternoon. And the implications of this tree will forever be burnt in my mind because I am this tree. And if I don't take care of my foundations and the roots of me, I will fall. <gasps> the glorious sun is coming out after days and days and days of rain. <sighs> but you know what? Weeping endureth for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Joy unspeakable and full of glory because we know with the Lord, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And it's a brand new day. It's a day to start all over and not allow fear and anxiety to take hold of our life. We can let this sword attack us, tear us down and defeat us. Or we can take the same sword and we can use this. And we can put on the armor of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Take a look at that. So if you're facing anxiety and fear today, my friends, think of my big old pine tree. Check out your foundation. See if there's something in your foundation that you need to strengthen today.